What is up guys, it's Senita. A lot of people have basically been surprised and I've told them that strike team counts towards nuclears. So in this video I'm going to explain in how to get nuclears easily. And um, I get them when I play hardcore domination probably about half of the time. A bit less but mostly I get nuclears or brutals at least. But um, I'm going to explain to you guys how I actually do this and the way I play. Now um, if I'm going for gameplays I will play really aggressive. You guys have seen my gameplays, I'm really aggressive. I'll see people, I'll challenge them. But in this case, because it was double XP and unstoppable medals count for so much XP, I think you get about 2000 XP per unstoppable medal. So um, I kind of had to play safe. So basically, I sat back. Um, I kind of I did play aggressive at the start, but then I realised I'm on a streak, so I kind of eased myself a bit. Now, um, the streaks you want to use are UAV, county UAV, and a strike team, and you want to use concept device as well on hardcore. The reason why is because once you get your UAV and county UAV, it's pretty much strike team from there as long as you play it safe and the thing that most people don't know is that the strike team count towards nuclears but they actually count towards UAV and count UAV assist as well so the amount of points you get you probably can see from this gameplay I'm getting tons of score for my UAVs and counters which gets me my strike team and then my strike team will get me my UAV and my UAV will get me a counter and then the strike team and so on and so on as long as you play safe you should be okay uh, my favourite specialist is talk because you can obviously block different doorways so you don't, have, you don't have to have people coming behind you and like punching you in the back. And if you head glitch on the barricade you actually get 150 points instead of 100. And if you're playing with a teammate that's using crash you can actually pick up their, I think it's an ammo supply or whatever it is, when he drops a pack on the floor and he can pick it up. You get an extra 25 points per kill with it and you get more bullets and you get armor piercing bullets with that as well I believe. So it's actually quite a good balance of score that you're getting so um as you can see by the video i'm playing really safe um it's probably because i was on the phone to my mom about pasta but yeah i'm playing really safe because i wanted these on top of windows at the same time and i think i got almost 100 000 xp this match as well i was going in i got a 67 kill streak a double nuclear with the icr and um, the attachments i'm using is grip one grip two fmj and long barrel i don't really use a sight on it because it doesn't really need one i'm used to iron sights on these kind of weapons since i've been playing black ops one two and three i've never used a red dot not much anyway and this is iw but um, i really like the iron sights and icr so i've kept it that way but the really crucial thing about this is the uav and the counter uav to get the strike team if you don't have uav and counter uav you're probably going to find it difficult no matter how good you are U uav encounters in a good team basically get you any score streak you want after that um, as long as they're trapping really good or killing really fast you'll be absolutely fine once you get those two streaks so make sure you whack on UAV encounter and then any other streak you want after that also I may upload a new video today um, about getting headshots with a specific weapon I don't know yet I have plenty of gameplays for you lot but um, if you haven't got notifications on you're missing out so um, put notifications on subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys next video peace